So today I want to go through this hive, check how strong it is, because at this time of year in New Zealand is the time we put on honey boxes. Honey boxes are quite often called supers, so this is called supering up. And so I want to check this hive, check its strength, and then go through with you the different ways that we can put on a honey super. So we're just going to open up this hive, check how strong it is. All right. So as you can see, we've got bees from edge to edge. I'm also going to check one of these outside frames and see if there is nectar or honey all the way to the edge. So as you can see, we've got bees right to the edge. And we've also got nectar. So we can see that these ladies are on a honey flow at the moment, a nectar flow. So they're transferring this nectar into the cells and then they'll be turning it into honey. And because this is the very outside frame, I know that they are ready for a honey box, a honey super. So it's very important, of course, to take the feeder out because this feeder was in for spring. They don't need the feeder anymore. They're on a nectar flow. They have quite enough honey to nectar to feed themselves. So we're going to take out this and we're going to replace it with some frames. Also, if you leave the feeder in and you don't give them enough room, they can quite often actually fill the feeder up with wax and honey, which is a bit of a uh, disaster for your feeder. So we're going to take that away. We're going to put some frames in there to fill it up. So I've taken the feeder out of our second box there and I'm just going to prepare to put a honey super on top. Now a good thing to use is a queen excluder. So putting the queen excluder on underneath the honey supers stops the queen from going up into the honey supers. So if she goes up there she could possibly lay eggs and then you'd have eggs and larvae in your honey box which makes it a lot more difficult to extract the honey. So this is one version of a queen excluder, this is a plastic excluder. You can also get ones with wooden edges and metal slats. So these are specially designed spaces that worker bees can go through but not the queen. So it just fits on top of the hive. So a lot of people often use uh, different size boxes for their honey supers. We're using a full depth box but you can also use a three quarter or a half depth box. And this makes them easier to lift off because obviously a smaller box is lighter. But we're going to use a full depth box and I want to sort of show you why. Because there's a trick. A good idea is to take a honey frame from your hive and place it up in your new honey super. And putting the honey in there and that smell of honey entices the bees up into your honey box. So they know it's there and they'll race up there and start making honey. There's also a few different type of frames that you can use in your honey box. So there's, you can use blank frames. We use plastic, you can use blank plastic frames. Make sure they've been wax dipped or wax painted. So there's a layer of wax here. And then the bees will come up and draw the wax out. But just remember that drawing the wax out uses the nectar that they've already got within them. So that's gonna actually use some of the honey and it be put into wax instead of straight into honey. So it might take a little while for the honey to get up there. Another type of frame you can use is already a plastic frame with the wax already on it. This is a good idea because like you see the wax is already there. So the bees, all the bees have to do is come up, they'll give it a little clean and they can put nectar in straight away to start turning into honey. So your honey will get there quicker. Another type of frame you can use is the wire and wood frames. But quite often the bees will sometimes not draw all the wax all the way to the edges or they'll sometimes manipulate it and make drone comb and things like that. So sometimes they will need a bit of a clean up before they can make the honey in there properly. But they're still a good frame. So these pink frames are specifically designed with a bigger imprint. So that imprint actually is the size for drone comb. But if you use these frames up in your honey super, it means that each cell will have more honey in it and it's easier to extract when you go to the extractors because it's a bigger cell. So that's just an additional thing that you might be able to put into your honey boxes. Now there's also a decision on how many frames that you want to put into your honey box. I know commercial beekeepers that do eight and then they space them very evenly so there's a big gap between and then the bees will draw the wax all the way out to the edges so you get a frame with a huge amount of wax and honey on it so they're very very heavy. Or you can have nine, again space them, or you can do them exactly for ten. And we know that ten fits into a honey super. And so when you do ten, 
there's a lot less wax, but each frame is a lot lighter to lift up. So it's your decision on what you want to do. So before I set my super up, I'm going to go down and get a nice frame of nectar or honey from down in my hive, which is going to entice the bees up into our honey super. So we know that that outside one is full of nectar. So I might as well just take this one out. You can see all the nectar on there. So obviously I'm going to replace this one with a frame. There we go. Alright, excluder on. Honey box on. So I've got eight in there and then I'm going to put my frame of nectar out here on the edge so the bees below can smell it and it will entice them up. I'm just going to space my nine frames out so I get nice even wax and even honey. There we go, lid on, done. That is what is called supering up. So that honey box will now be filled with nectar which will be turned into honey and at the end of the season, I can take it off and extract my honey. So that was a really easy way to super up your hive. Now remember, you can make a decision on what size box you can use, half or three quarter depth, depending on how you feel about lifting a really heavy honey box at the end of the season. Um, but it is a good idea to take a frame full of honey and put it up in that top box to entice the bees up so they make it, the honey quicker. Um, it's also a good idea to use um, already wax frames, what we call foundation frames, because it makes it easier for the bees to just put the nectar in straight away instead of, wait, um, instead of using all their time and energy to make the wax first. But whatever you've got, you can use to put in your honey box.